Hello, good morning students. In this video tutorial, we will be learning a special kind of functionality called as file locking. Specifically, this is the program that we are going to look into, program number 3. I will read out the question for you. Consider the last 100 bytes as a region. Write a C, C++ program to check whether the region is locked or not. If the region is locked, print the PID of the process which has locked that particular file. If the region is not locked, lock the region with an exclusive lock, read the last 50 bytes and unlock the region. That is the exact program that we want to do. And in this, uh, while doing this, we are going to look at a particular function called as an FCNTL function. I will show you this function here. This is the very function which we are going to look into. File locking is essentially to prevent the race condition. And how are we going to prevent the race condition? One process can hold a lock of a file blocking access to other processes while the other processes waits for the lock to be released. Once the process is done with its work with that particular file, it releases the lock and the other files, other processes can get hold of that lock. So this is how the uh, locking works and this prevents race condition. And for doing this, for locking a file, we require a function called as FCNTL. This is called as file current control. File control takes three parameters. That is, the first parameter is the FD. FD is nothing but file descriptor which we have got from open system call. And the second parameter is F set lock. There are three basic uh, commands that can be used for FCNTL file locking. F set LK for setting a file lock. F underscore get LK for getting the file locking properties and f underscore set lkw for testing the whether the file is locked has got an exclusive lock on it or not and the third parameter that we pass is ampersand fl ampersand fl is nothing but the address of a variable fl which is of type struct flock now what is the struct flock i will show it with the help of a man man uh, man page man fcntl you can see there is a structure called a struct flock and this structure has got five variables two of type short and three of type off underscore t nothing but offset l underscore type indicates what kind of lock you want to apply on the file whether you want to do a read lock, a write lock or you want to keep it unlock, unlocked. That is, that is the value that L underscore type will take. These values are defined in a uh, in FCNTL dot H. Now the second parameter or the second variable is L underscore whence. Now this L underscore whence will indicate from where should the file locking start. What is the baseline? What is the um, baseline of the file where the file locking should start? This takes three parameters once again. Seek set from the beginning of the file. Seek underscore cur current from the current location of the cursor. Seek underscore end to the end of the file. The third variable l underscore start is the offset from either seek set or seek current or seek end. Now I will give an example here. Say suppose our l whens is seek set and our l start is 20. It means to say from the beginning of the file leave an offset of 20 bytes and from there start locking the number of bytes after the 20 bytes. The first 20 bytes is not locked. Now if I say seek cur, elvens is, elvens is seek current and for this we will have to do an lseek before we set the lock. 
the fourth variable is l underscore len number of bytes to be locked if we want to lock 50 bytes from the current location 20 then we will be locking till the 70th byte 20 plus 50 70 the last value the last variable is l underscore pid this variable holds the process id of the process which is holding the lock on that particular file so this is the structure of flock which we will be using in our program so we will pass this value here if set underscore lock is the command that we want to execute then the parameters that is set for fl will be applied for locking if we say f underscore get lock then the parameters which is already set the locking locking characteristics that are already set to the file will be fetched and will be replaced in fl if we say set under a set lkw the third uh, kind of function or the or the command it is going to test whether there is an exclusive lock or not so what we are trying to do here is we are simply setting a lock now we'll try to understand this program right from the beginning we have defined a parameter we defined a variable called as fl of type struct flock and l type is unlock we have set it to unlock l once is seek set beginning of the file there is no offset which is zero and we want to set the lock for first 100 bytes and the pid of the process is currently zero meaning there is no process which is holding the lock these are simply declaration of various integer and character array and fd is equal to open system call we are opening a file which is passed as a argument for the inline for this program in command so that particular program that particular file is open in o underscore rdwr read write mode if we are able to successfully open this file which we have passed as a command line argument then open system call returns a positive value for the file descriptor fd if it is if we are unable to open a file in read write mode then it returns minus 1 this is something which you are already aware of so if it returns minus 1 we will simply say can't open a file and exit from the program if it returns some positive value from the pool of integers from the operating system then we proceed and we say file is not locked by any process enter plus press enter to lock the file so this is this is an instruction that is given to the user and we are going to get a character from the user it can be any keystroke in your keyboard including the enter key so now what we are trying to do is the fl.l type we are setting it to write lock wr lock there are three, three types of lock i was mentioning you there is something called as write lock read lock and unlock right so initially the uh, command was unlock now we are setting it to wr lock and we are also setting which is the process which is trying to hold the lock and that is the current process and how do we get the process id of the current process by a system call called as get pid now the next next thing we do is we call fcntl on the file disk on the file and set the uh, lock with the parameters fl now fl consists of f underscore write lock as the first parameter seek set which is the beginning of the file zero no offset 100 bytes and the pid is replaced with the current pid now our process if it is successful in locking will return a positive value if it is unsuccessful it will return minus one if it is unsuccessful we will say can't exclusively set a lock and come out of the program if we are successful then we will say file has been exclusively locked by the process what is the process id it is nothing but lpid which we have got here and we will proceed and now once 
the locking is done let us go back to the question here print the pid of the process which has locked if the region is not locked lock the region with an exclusive lock and now we are supposed to unlock it and read the last 50 bytes of the unlocked region so that is what we are supposed to do and we are going to read the last 50 bytes how do we do this we are supposed to unlock the file first for doing an unlock we are going to set the l type of the fl the flock struct flock variable to unlock that is more than enough to unlock a file and later we are going to seek to the end of the file and we know now lseek is a command lseek is a function that is used to seek to the end of the file from zero to the end of the file when we seek the size of the file will be stored in a variable called as f size now we want to only scan the last 50 bytes so the last 50 bytes can be fetched by this formula f size minus 50 it's as simple as subtracting 50 bytes from the last location of the file now set the offset read the content and print the content that's what you're supposed to do and that is the end of the program now i will show you the execution of this program to to execute this program first of all you need to compile this program using gcc p3.c and an output file p3 so this is how we are supposed to compile this program and later as i was mentioning you you are supposed to pass a command line argument you are supposed to pass a command line argument and that should be a file name so we need to create a dummy file which uh, contains some text data so i will use cat command to open a file say demo.c and end f and hello this is a test program for demonstrating file locking to avoid trace condition the race condition can be avoided using file So now we have this particular file called as demo.c which has got this content hello this is the test program for demonstrating the file and so on and so forth so now what we are going to do is we are going to execute this program p3 and we are going to pass this file as a command line argument for p3 now i have opened the file success, success, uh, successfully and file is not yet locked by any process press enter to lock the file now I am going to lock the file. File has been exclusively locked by the process 2673. Now what is this process 2673? We will have a look at this thing. PS minus A will give you the list of processes in the system. 2673 is nothing but P3. P3 is the P3 is nothing but the program which we have compiled and executed. And that is the process which is holding the lock now. Now what I will do is I will once again execute p3 it is a different process now with the same file demo.c now what happens is I cannot set the exclusive lock this message will display because 2673 process is already holding a lock no other process can hold a lock on demo.c now now if I release the lock if they release the lock press enter to release the lock now 50 bytes of data the last 50 bytes of data has been read and the lock is released now if i try to execute i will be able to set the lock once again file ha has been exclusively locked by 
2693 it is a different process although the same program is executed twice it becomes a different process so this is the uh, this is how you execute a program i am sure i am sure you have understood this program for any doubts you can contact me at aditya.b@jyotiit.org thank you